Okay, so uh, we're in Unity. This is what I'm going to show you, how to create this. Uh, this is a kind of a simple flight simulator. Um, in another tutorial, I'll show you how to make this, showed you how to make this uh, model and unwrap it and put a texture on it and export it from 3D Studio Max. But uh, that model can come from anywhere. You can make your model in Blender or Maya or whatever. So what this tutorial is going to do is show you how to um, pull the model into the scene, add a camera to it, particle systems, and um, attach the script and then how the script works. So, so that's it. And let's just stop that. And before I get into that, um, this is also going to be on my website, uh, 3dcognition.com. If you go to, well, if you're just at home and you click on Tutorials and Unity, it should be somewhere in the Unity Tutorials. It'll probably be called Unity Flight Simulation Tutorial. That's that's kind of a placeholder for it right now. And it'll have the script, the uh, Flying Tank 3 script, right? So you can fly whatever around in uh, pitch, yaw, or roll. It'll also have a process to export the model from Max and a process to import the model and texture into Unity and the controls. And uh, I have to give credit where credit is due here. Um, I was looking at uh, this guy's work and I kind of liked one of, one of his tanks, um, Dr. Bubble on the YouTube channel. Um, it's a pretty nice modeling tutorials. Check them out. Um, and so I wanted to make a tank. That was my initial goal. So then I went over here and uh, this guy, Greg Graham, uh, had this tank JavaScript, which is pretty simple. And I've done things similar to this, and I thought, well, I could use that. And uh, that's very similar. If you look on my website, I've got a tutorial on doing a hovercraft type of a script. Um, and let's just look at that. I think I've got that here. Yeah, here's the hover script. Um, that you'll see on another tutorial. If you want to make like a hovercraft, this is something I got from somebody else and made some modifications on. So this thing senses the ground and hovers a certain distance off the ground and I've added a couple of keys so I can change the hover height, among other things. So um, I thought, well, I could use that on this tank script and make this tank fly. And why not just make a flight simulator? So. Um, what I've done is I changed the tank script so that it doesn't have, so it's real simplified. And this is the stuff that came with it right here. And this is the function, the update function that is setting your speed and, and your rotate speed. And you can change these values, of course. And then I added these keys, Z, X, A, and Q. So, um, you know, he's going up and down with rotate amount in the X. So I'm just doing that in the Z, and I'm putting it in this place instead of this place. Okay, and here I'm making it a minus value for the X. So when I do Z and X, that's my roll. And then when I do an A and a Q, that's uh, making me go forward or backwards at speed. Um, a is medium speed and Q is fast. And you can see I'm doing times two there. Okay, and uh, that's about it. So now we can do pitch, yaw, roll, roll, and thrust. And uh, again, that is on my site. And for anybody that wants to see how I built this uh, vehicle, um, you can go to 3D Cognition, and then I have a Facebook link for the Facebook homepage for 3D Cognition. If I click that, it takes me to here where I've got some other tutorials that I don't put on YouTube and aren't available through the regular website. And so you can check here um, in that video tutorial on how to make uh, the ship and texture it and unwrap it and export it. 
that'll be here somewhere. And also, if you if there's a question like a tutorial you want to see, um, say so here. If you've done something something interesting with any of the tutorials you've seen on 3D cognition, I'd be interested to see them. Um, and other people might be also. You can add a photo or video. So we'll go back to Unity, and uh, I'm going to take this thing apart. I already showed how to make the particle systems on another, another video. So you import your video, and that's just as you import your um, vehicle, and that's just a matter of dragging it over. So this is um, going to be, we're going to use Vehicle 6 again because that's one of the better ones. So I'm going to get rid of it here. I'm going to go to Vehicle 6 again, drag it over. Now it's going to come in probably way over here in the corner. Let's move this over. And uh, I'm going to go to the top again and drag it over. Side. Now what we need to do is rotate this thing. This vehicle when it came in wasn't in the exact right orientation. So I'm going to go to uh, See the rotation here is minus 90. I'm going to set it to zero. And that's all I need to do there. And I'm going to move it, and maybe I can get this thing in the right orientation. Save myself a little bit of work as far as lining it up with the particles. And I've got two particle systems. Um, there's another one. That's, that's not too bad. You know, all I'm doing is uh, do it this way. There we go. Um, I'm making it so that the particle system is inside the holes that I made for the vehicle. Okay. Um, what else do I need to do? This. Um, vehicle needs those particle systems on it now so I'm going to drag those to the vehicle and this one also and also the vehicle needs the camera attached to it so I'm going to drag the camera to be a child of the vehicle and I'm going to make sure that the camera is far enough away and centered on the vehicle not bad and uh, also with the vehicle, it needs component, physics, rigid body, and the rigid body is going to be using gravity, and drag needs to be 0.5, and that's a big deal. If you don't get the drag right, your vehicle is going to be all over the place. Also it needs, let's make sure we've still got vehicle selected, component, physics, um, mesh collider. And with this mesh collider, I'm going to make it a convex mesh, which will allow it to collide with things. And I don't need anything else on that. And then I also need my uh, JavaScript. It's going to be called Flying Tank 3, I think. So I'll drag that right on top of the vehicle. And I might be okay to play right now. Something looks a little screwy, but we got at least one exhaust, and the exhaust looks a little funny, actually. But you can see everything is working. And you can see this little tank action now. If I didn't go up and I was going slower, there's your tank program right there. If you want to make a tank, use, um, what was his name? Use Greg Graham's Tank.js. You know, just slow it down, and it might not be too bad as long as you have your tank tracks animated. But this one flies, which I think is kind of nice also. Um, so what else? Um, to get this other one in there, this other... Uh, what did I do with these particle systems to make them look nice? I think if I go from the side, it's going to be easier to see. Start size I had to play with. 
I brought that down a little bit because the one I made in the other tutorial was a little bit big. And I changed um, size over lifetime too. And when I click on that, it goes to this. See, I think the one I had originally was something like that. So I brought this way down, the initial size way down. And get more of a point if you want. I think those are the main things I changed. Now this other particle system, I don't know what's going on with it, so let's just get rid of it. And let's duplicate this one and go to our top view and slide it over. So now we have two particle systems in there. And make sure they're even and play again and see if that's any better. It doesn't look quite as good as it did when I first had it up. I'm probably going to have to play with the particles again. They've, uh, they've changed a little bit, but it's not too bad. Not too bad for what we can do in 12, 13 minutes. Okay, good. So if any of that stuff doesn't make sense, let me know at uh, 3D Cognition or on YouTube, and I'll try to help.